now let's see this question this question came in gate 2016 for two marks the question is in an adjacency list representation of an undirected simple graph g is equal to v comma e each edge u comma v has two adjacent list entries v in the adjacency list of u and u in the adjacency list of v okay so what they are talking about is that if there is any undirected simple graph let's say for example there is a graph with two edges and three nodes and let's say these nodes are named one two three something like that okay so in adjacency list representation what happens is that for each node for each node let's say one two and three what we do is that we maintain a list of all the nodes which are adjacent to that node so adjacent means they have a direct edge with that so one has an edge with two and three and that's why in the adjacency adjacency list of one we will have two and three similarly for node two it will have in the adjacency list only one node one because two is only connected to one similarly three is only connected to one that's why for the adjacency list of three it will have only one node one something like this so this is basically the adjacency list representation of this graph okay so here also we can you can see that for each edge u comma v so if we are talking about something like edge one comma three then as they are saying that for that edge u comma v v will be in the adjacency list of u and u will be in the adjacency list of v and that is true see if we are talking about one comma three then three will be in the adjacency list of one and one will be in the adjacency list of three isn't it that's right now they are defining something called twin so when we are talking about one is there in the adjacency list of three and three is in the adjacency list of one then these two are basically called twins twins and that is the definition of twin that they are, uh, they are uh, calling here they are calling that twin pointer is a twin pointer is a pointer from the adjacency list or in entry to its twin so in the adjacency list entry this entry if there is a pointer which is pointing to the other to, to the other twin so if if one if its twin is this then if there is a pointer from here to the, its other twin then this is called a twin pointer similarly here its twin is 3 so if there is a pointer here which points to the its twin then this is called a twin pointer so these two are twin pointers similarly uh, for here you can see that one points to two then if this has a twin this then if this is pointing to this then this is a twin pointer and similarly this is a twin pointer if it points to its twin here okay so that is how it works now total number of uh, edges is m so m edges are there total number of vertices is n so n vertices are there now they are saying that memory size in is not a constraint and what we have to do that is that we have to find the time complexity of the most efficient algorithm to set the twin pointers in each entry of the adjacency list so they are saying that initially these pointers are not there simply the adjacency list is there and we have to set these pointers all the twin pointers we have to set here then what is going to be the time complexity of the most efficient algorithm for that that we have to find okay okay so um, now uh, what we can do is that firstly try to understand the intuition that let's say we let's say here that in three there is a node one and its twin is this so if we know that three is having one then definitely one would be having three but if we have to set this pointer right if we have to set this pointer to here then we must know the address of three 
how we we will know the address of 3 if we don't have any external data structure then the only way is to only way is to search through the entire adjacency list of 1 and we will when we will search then we will find that where 3 is and then we are going to connect that using this pointer so this is going to a time taking process right so if we have to search for each and every adjacency list uh, if we have to search the twin twin in that then it is going to be a time taking process for that we can use a hash table or uh, simply an array because there is no memory size constraint so we can simply use an array uh, something like uh, as in agency matrix similar similar to that we will use a kind of array here let's say an array something like this where see so let's say this is one two three this is one two three so if n nodes are then there then this is basically n square external uh, additional space we are going to take but that is not a constraint any space we can say because they are saying that memory size is not a constraint now with this what we are going to do is that see what if when we are here something like three we are going through the agency list of one uh, three and we are finding one then what if we can directly access this pointer in order one time and we can simply put it there so rather than searching the entire thing if we can directly find in order one time this pointer then we can simply put that pointer address uh, point, uh, put that address in the pointer here and then we will be done right we'll directly create a twin pointer pointer so in order to do that see a GCC matrix sort of representation we will do where what happens is that for one two and three are the different edges two and three are the different nodes with with whom the edges are there with respect to node one so one comma two this will have a value one comma three this will have a value similarly for two only it is connected to one so two comma one this will have some value three comma one this will have some value now in adjacency matrix representation we are simply initializing everything with one and wherever there are uh, everything we are initializing with zero and wherever there is any edge we are uh, changing that value to one and that so here 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 and here we will put one and that's it that is the representation uh, with respect to adjacency matrix but here rather than having simply a token value something like zero or one we are going to put the addresses so that we can access them in order one time that is the point why we are creating this data structure okay so my point is that let's say if um, let's write it again one two three so two three one one so my point is that this is a address this is the agency list of node one this is the agency list of node 2 this is the agency list of node 3 but for each of these uh, addresses for for each of these elements in the list there must be some addresses memory addresses corresponding to these elements so let's consider that these addresses are something like 100 200 let's say this address is 300 this address is 400 then what we can do is that when we are talking about one comma two here then we can in, we can instead put the memory address here in this array so one comma two is going to have 100 one comma three this node is going to have address 200 this is have going to have 300 and this is going to have 400 now see once we have this data structure built then after that see once we are uh, going through any other uh, adjacency list let's say we are going through one and then we are seeing that okay one comma three uh, we are coming here that this is going to be the uh, a node and its twin is going to be three comma one so in in node three's adjacency list there has to be a value one but we don't know its address but we but when we have built the data structure this then when we are at 3 then we can simply call 3 comma 1 and see the value in this matrix so 3 comma 1 is 400 so here we can directly in order one time we can see that okay 
400 is the address in 3 comma 1 so this pointer must be set to 400 and if we do that basically this is pointing to its twin isn't it similarly if we are going through the adjacency list of 3 and we are at uh, this place then we can see that okay its twin will be at 1 comma 3 in 1 comma 3 we are having 200 so here we will set 200 and that is basically the twin pointer isn't it so we can see that, that basically we have to traverse this similarly here we can directly find address 200 and here we can directly find address 100 and we will set here so all the twin pointers can be set like this and there is no point in searching right right now just we can have the the pointer uh, the address in order one time using this uh, data structure which we have built okay so after that if we have this data structure then we can see that simply we have to go to all the nodes and we have to traverse through all the adjacency list nodes which can be done in basically order n plus m time so all the nodes we are visiting and for each of the nodes we are visiting all the uh, elements in the adjacency list and and sum of all the nodes in the adjacency list is basically uh, 2m which is, which is basically twice the number of edges which will be uh, we can write it order n plus order 2m which is basically order n plus n right so in this way basically uh, you can understand that uh, we are sort of doing breadth first search isn't it so all all the for all each and every node we are going to go through its adjacent adjacent uh, edges and in a sort in sort of bfs we are going to do the, that so the time taken by this will be exactly same as the bfs algorithm so here also we are seeing that the time taken is order n plus m so uh, it will obviously be order n plus m and it will also be omega n plus m because there is no way we can do better than that so overall it is going to be theta n plus m so theta n plus m b is the answer